Oni 10. Emptiness. I kill all noticeable living things. I hate all moving things. I even feel irritation to the shaking head at the edge of my view. My sense returned barely by the fight with the sword god, but can this really be said that it returned? I cut down the animal that seems to be harmless and devour the meat greedily. With this, I'm only a beast without sense. No, even the beast won't do useless hunting when it's full, and I who kill all noticeable living things now is only a fiend that's lower than a beast. I don't only kill animals. I kill a lot of humans who run away from me. The man who faces me bravely, the woman who protect her child, the protected young child, and the old man who present his body to gain time. I killed all of them. Why am I doing such a thing? I don't know. I feel nausea whenever I kill innocent people, but the killing intent and the anger excited it more. The voice kill echoes in my head. I entrust to the anger and obey the words. I feel unpleasant whenever I kill and it becomes irritation like that. Then it becomes the killing intent and becomes the driving force to look for the next prey, the negative chain that drops me to the very bottom. I evolved into the ogre general from High Ogre after defeating the sword god. I repeated massacre more from there and evolved into an oni. Although there was one called Ogre King in the evolution from the general, I chose this somehow. The change was extreme. My belt that grew big whenever I evolved till then shrank into the normal human size instantly. Although if that's if it's that alone, it would be a little surprise. At the moment I saw my appearance reflected in the water, I gulped. My previous life's face was reflected there. Two horns grew on my forehead, and there was the impression that I became slightly virile. Uh, vir virile, I don't know. <laughs> But that was the face of me in the past without a doubt. Why now? Such an impression appeared in my head, and at the same time I consented. Ah, I see. I returned back. I evolved into the Oni, and the level of the skill called Taboo raised to ten, and the acquired Taboo was highly destructive enough to break my heart. I vomited gastric juice, raged recklessly, and started the massacre of the living things with a greater killing intent. The everyday ruled by the wrath, and only killed... Before acquiring Taboo, I despaired for not being able to stop my will while, f f while feeling guilty and killing innocent people. My heart became slightly light after acquiring Taboo, because legitimacy was enhanced in massacre. Uh, encased. In... Enacted. Enacted in massacre. In my such feelings, I get angry. The wrath from the bottom of my heart that's not a temporary wrath brought by the skill, or a legitimacy. If such a thing is only an appendix reason. Uh, after all, it only it's only making an excuse by putting the indulgence called justice to the sins that I have done. Although the taboo's content was surely terrible, it doesn't become the reason that I can massacre. It's the same. The time when I met a person in the previous life. I'm not wrong. That's why. I may use violence. The distance one is after I used violence. I only claim that I'm not wrong. The essence is the same. Justifying my own crime with my righteousness as, as a shield. That's why my appearance might be close to my appearance when I was a human. In the previous life, the will was right and the violence was a crime. In this world, the will was a crime and the violence was right. I don't know what's right and what's wrong anymore. Even though I don't know it, I don't stop my action, leaving both my will and rightness. I want someone to stop me. I want to return to that goblin's village, to that place where there's no need to think about both rightness and sin. But there's nothing there anymore. The proud warriors in the strict and warm house, everything... In addition, there is no one who can stop me anymore. If I see the appraisal stone, my status has exceeded 10,000 even if I don't use the wrath. I was able to repel the ice dragon that came to stop me without using the wrath. When I was a goblin, I was taught that the drake was a more dangerous monster in the mountain range. Was a dangerous monster. Even the drake's high rank species, the dragon, can't stop me. The present me is only a machine that kill all noticeable living things. My will is not there, and there's only anger with it, without the empty inside. I kill, eat, and look for the next lunch. I am the existence of that much. Is there a meaning for me to live? It might be better if I didn't regain my consciousness in the fight with the sword god. Then I was able to be reduced to an ordinary machine that doesn't think of anything isn't in, in a true meaning. Or if the sword god killed me. Ah, I see. I already want to die. In such a world, I don't want to live in such a state. Why is this world so painful? Why am I feeling so painful? I don't know. I want to die. And yet, I can't die by my own will. My body continues to take action in order to live arbitrarily. Chase the prey. Kill it and eat it. I chase the group that tries to cross the mountain range. I have the country destroy a title before I know it, and I have a lot of a life in this side of the mountain range. Because I continued moving while recalling the Sword God's movement, I acquired the Sword God title too. The facts seem to stain Rhaegar von Rengzan somehow, and I feel sick. I lost sight of the group that I chase after tr crossing the mountain range. Well, it doesn't matter. I didn't chase them because I wanted to kill them. Rather, I'm glad that I lost sight of them. 
and yet I was attacked by a mystery group. It was a strange group that used magic and the bow as the main difference from the knights that I fought before, and the warrior group without unity that I fought before that. I acquired the fairy killer after killing them, and when I tore off their clothes to check their identity, it was the race with pointed ears. It's the race that seemed to be called as the elves in the earth. Although it was unknown why they attacked me, they died in vain. Although the elves were considerably strong, they were not my enemy. There might not be someone who can kill me anymore. It can't be helped that I began to give up like that, but it was still early to give up. In front of me, a girl stands in my way. The mouth smiles, the eyes are flaming, and it fills my fighting spirit. <laughs> it was... <laughs> It was a presence like the man-eating fiend that's unimaginable from her looks and elegant dress. I sense it. This girl is strong to the extent that I can be killed. And I had a light expectation. Yes! Yes! Ha ha ha! Oh, good, 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 good. Oh. <laughs>